Well, it's August 2022, and I've got some exciting news to share with you about our real estate market here in the Space Coast of Florida. You want to know what's going on so you can be ready for this wonderful downturn. Well, welcome back to our real estate market update for August of 2022. We're going to continue taking a look at our very rapidly changing real estate market here in the Space Coast of Florida. Now, if you've been following these videos, you see how important I feel our market statistics are because they tell us as real estate investors exactly what strategies we may or may not need to change. Now, what's got me most excited about this real estate market right now is we can see some rapid changes as we rapidly begin to return to a normal market. We've had a very strong seller's market for the last couple of years, and it seemed like it was just going on with no end in sight. Well, even four months ago, you could list a property on the market, you could price it a little bit high, you could get multiple offers and sell it even higher. Well, those days are over, and as I share these statistics with you, you're gonna see exactly what I'm talking about, and you're gonna understand the key importance to changing your rules as an investor so that you can make sure that every property you acquire gives you a solid cash flow opportunity that can weather any kind of economy. So let's dive right in and take a look at these statistics. Now, one of the most important statistics I always like to look at is our median list price versus our median sales price. This is a tracker of exactly what's going on in the median range of our market, which measures the overall health of our market. Now, in our median range, you understand you've got properties priced above and below that value. So our median range is an indication of what value range of properties is moving on the market today. And we're seeing a rapid change on that. Uh, let's take a look first back year over year, because it's always good to compare where we were last year and where we are right now today. Now, if we look at year over year, it still looks like we're seeing some increase in the market. Let's take, for example, our median list price, which in July of 2022 was 390,000. In July of 21, it was 359,000. So we had uh, more than a 10% increase in median list price year over year. And if you looked at that statistic only, you think the market was going up. But wait, we want to look at the whole picture here. Let's also consider median sales price. Our median sales price in July of 2022 was 350,000. And a year ago, it was 299,000. So there's a 17% increase in our median sales price. Again, if that's all you looked at, you would start to think, well, our market's still going up. We're 10% over median list price of last year. We're 17% over median sales price. Those are indications of an uptrend in market. But we really need to look at what's happening in the market today. So to do that, let's compare our median list price in July as it was compared to June, just 30 short days ago. Now in June of 2022, our median list price was 410,000. In July of 2022, it's 390,000. So we've seen a 5% decrease in median sales price, median list price, just in 30 days. That is a rapid turnaround. Now, by no means does that mean our market is crashing. No, it means we're returning to a normal market. It means you can no longer list a property here and get multiple offers and sell it for up here. What it means is you've got to list a property here and you've got to wait for the right buyer. You'll see an increase in days on market. Uh, you're also going to see some of the lower end properties that are still selling to investors where the higher end properties are taking longer and longer to sell and our listing price is often chasing the market in a downward trend. I will show you those statistics in just a minute. The important thing to note here is as our market changes, we'll be seeing an increase in inventory and an increase in inventory means an increase in selections. That means properties you can choose from when you're looking to buy a property or an investment, uh, which means you can now start to make some rules. This is the way it should be in a normal market. And I'm excited that we're returning back to that normal market. Let's take a quick look at this graph where I like to compare active listings in the red, new listings in the brown compared to sold listings. Now, if we focus in very clearly on the red and the black, red being the uh, active listings and black being the sold listings, you can see active listings trending upward, sold listings trending downward. As that gap starts to open up, 
you'll see a dramatic increase in inventory. Uh, we've also seen several new listings coming on the market. We started an upward trend at the beginning of this year. Uh, it was higher in January, higher in February, higher in March, and it's been a little level off, but still maintaining a slight upward trend uh, even through from March to today. Even though the line, the brown line you see is starting to kind of level off, uh, around 2,000 units, you can tell by the red line on how many active listings are out there that our market is rapidly changing. We're seeing more and more inventory come up. Now, a lot of the reason we're seeing this is the change in mortgage interest rates. Where you could get between 2 and 3% on a 30-year fixed, now you're between 5 and 6%. So our mortgage rates have just about doubled. Now, the truth is, if you're looking at something, say, 200 to 250,000, it's a nominal impact on your monthly mortgage payment. But as soon as you cross that $300,000 price range, you start to see more and more dramatic impacts on the mortgage payment, and that affects the affordability of the people that were buying those homes, which is a result of the higher end properties sitting on the market longer and ultimately selling for less. Look right here, I've separated out just the number of active listings for July of 2022. You can see on this graph how we have a very rapid upswing. We kind of bottomed out in February and we've been in an upswing that is increasing rapidly ever since. So right now our listings are higher than they've been any time in the last year and that trend is still continuing upward. That's exciting people because if you're looking to invest in property, that means now you've got more selections. That means sellers have fewer choices and buyers and what that means is investors is we can start to write our own rules again. And that's gonna be very important because you wanna make sure you're buying a property that's going to give you solid, dependable cash flow. That's what real estate investment is all about. If we compare our number of listings to our sold listings again, we've got the big disparity that's developing between our red line, which is our active listings, and our, sold, our black line, which is our sold listings. As that continues to develop, you'll see more and more of a return to a normal market. Take a look at our active listings this month. In 2022, 2,374 market listings, active listings available in our Space Coast MLS. Compare that to 2021, where we had 1,794. There is a 32.3% increase year over year in inventory. 32%, more than 32% increase in inventory. That means we've got choices again. The days of multiple offers, the days of overbidding, those days are over. No longer will you have to overpay for a piece of investment property. Now you can afford to make the offer that makes sense and keep going until you find a seller that's willing to accept your offer. If you don't make an offer that makes sense, you won't get the income that you need. And if you don't get the income you need, well, your real estate investment portfolio is heading for failure and we don't want that. Cash flow is what it's all about. If you take a look at our sold listings, we're gonna see a huge change here in our year over year. In July of 2022, 1,142 units actually sold and closed. Compare that to a year ago in July of 2021, 1,437 units closed. That is a 20.5% drop in closed listings year over year. That is a significant change. So you start to see how we can pull out statistics that could support our cause. If you've got a realtor who's looking to sell and convince you that it's an up market, they're gonna show you the first set of statistics that I pulled out here, which shows you increase in both median list and median sales price on a year over year between 10 and 17%. Uh, if you're looking at somebody like me who's saying you want cash flow and you wanna make your offer make sense, I'm gonna focus on the sold listings and a reduction in sold listings year over year of more than 20%. That's an indication of a changing market you wanna make sure you look at all the statistics. This is another key factor, and I love this graph, how we've got it singled out, where it shows sold price versus list price. Now this is sorted to show what it sold for compared to original list ratio. And you can see how we began a downtrend in March. March is when our mortgage rates started to change dramatically. They went from between two and 3% to almost 6%. So they more than doubled within that 30 day period. You saw sales fall off. And even though our 30 year rate has dropped another point, we're back down around five or so again at the time we're shooting this video, 
you can see our sales have continued to trend downward. So now you've got sellers going, I want this, and buyers are going, nope, I won't give you more than this. And it's forcing sellers to make a change and drop their price to meet buyers' demands. That's the kind of market that we as real estate investors have been waiting for for years. That's the kind of market that says that we as real estate investors can finally make affordable purchases on our investment properties. We don't have to overpay anymore. We'll never have to overbid again. Now we're starting to get a foothold in the market where we can make the rules again. I can't tell you how excited I am about this. I want a normal market. I'd even be more excited to be in a downturn market because that means I can make even more rules. But we're not quite there yet. We've got a ways to go before we shift to a buyer's market. But right now, returning to a normal market means the rules are starting to play again in your favor as an investor, and you wanna watch that. Let's take a look at our current inventory. Current active as of today, August 9th, 2022, 2,269 units available in our Space Coast MLS. Those are available units that have no contract, that are not contingent, that are not pending. They are actively listed for sale. And it's something else to be able to look in there because more and more as we scan through, scan through our MLS, we start to see reduced, 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 reduced. That means people are dropping prices. I've even done this myself on a flip that I've got listed myself right now, where I've had to make minor drops in prices to stimulate activity on the market to get the units sold. We don't want it sitting out there too long to where it gets stale. So you've got to aggressively start changing the market with a rapidly increasing inventory. You need to do what you have to do to make your property stand out above the rest. Now our sales in July were 1142. So if I compare that now, our supply has increased to where we've got two months supply. Now, if you recall, looking back three, four months ago, we only had about a half a month supply of inventory. And what that means is the amount of time it would take for all the listings in inventory to be sold if no new listings were added. Well, about three or four months ago, we only had a half a month's supply. Here we are 90 to 120 days later, and we've increased that from a half a month to two full months of supply. That's a rapid increase in available inventory in a very short time. We are rapidly returning to a normal market. As an investor, you want to play by those rules and start making sure that your bids make sense. You see, what this means is we've got a 31% increase in inventory just between last month and this month. That's huge, 31%. Do not ever overbid for a property again. Do not compete in bidding wars. Those days are over. I can't stress that enough. You've got to stay focused on the rules of investing. Take a look also at our rental inventory because we're buying rentals that make sense. I see more and more sellers out there trying to sell blue sky. They're telling you it's rented for 1500, but the market rents are 2000. So they're trying to sell it to you as an investor at a price that, that goes along with the $2,000 a month rental. Those days are over. Our rental inventory is increasing as well. We currently have active rentals available in Brevard County. 683 units. We only had 500 units available last month. We've got 683 units available this month. That's a 27% increase in available rentals. Now what that means is if you price your rental too aggressively, you're gonna sit on the market waiting for somebody to take it and, and you're gonna end up losing money. So we've gotta get more conservative with our rental rates so that we can attract good tenants and get that property filled as quickly as possible. Uh, now we're still holding pretty strong at about a month and a half supply of rentals, that's good. Uh, we had 365 rentals uh, uh, that actually rented last month, but when we see an increase in available rentals and about the same number of units rented as we did over the last couple of months, that tells us we can't be aggressive with our rents anymore. So now I'm telling my investors, if you think the rents are 2,000, Let's bet on getting 18 to 1900 so that we can get it rented quickly and be competitive in the market and attract a good a tenant that we can keep. Now, all this means that we're returning to a normal market. And as we're returning to a normal market, your rules as an investor are changing again. I've said many times throughout this video, and I'm gonna say it one more time, do not get caught up in a bidding war. Do not overbid on your properties. Just don't play the competition game you can wait it out. 
The return of the 1% rule is something you need to be aware of right now. When I say the 1% rule, that means if you've got a property that rents for $2,000 a month, you need to sell or buy that property at $200,000. Your monthly rent should be 1% of your purchase price. Now, I know our values aren't quite in line there yet, but with our rapidly changing market, you as an investor need to be making offers that only make sense. So let's return to the 1% rule. Use your rents as a guide. Do not play the appreciation game anymore. Our values are not going to increase. You're not going to be able to bet on appreciation. So you need to buy focused on income. Those are the rules of this changing market. I can't wait for our market to continue to develop. It's going to take us a few months to get to a normal market and then even longer before we can get to a buyer's market, which is a natural part of the cycle. So don't wait, buy now, but use your 1% rule, make smart investments. Now, as always, if you're looking to acquire investment property, you're looking for good dependable management, give us a call here at IGC or come by our office. We can sit with you and help you build a solid strategic plan to acquire investment property and build a solid cash flow portfolio that can give you and your family income through any kind of market condition. So give us a call or pop by our office. We'd love to talk with you. Thank you for joining me. I'm Troy with IGC Realty and Rental Management, a real estate investment firm, and we look forward to helping you build your solid cash flow portfolio.